It's a story of two brothers who have like a 10 year age difference and the older brother actually decides to leave everything behind, including his little brother and move somewhere else and begin a new life in a very distant place. And he sort of disappears from his family, almost becomes someone else. And at one point, this younger brother grows up 10 years later and tries to find out if this guy who left him behind is dead or alive. So I think this is the, the main story of the film, but there's you know, this other stuff going on as well. I think I really wanted to talk about taking risks and being adventurous and, and not being afraid and just jumping you know, into something you don't know. So I was really interested in making a film which was about adventure and taking risks. I think that's really like the, the beginning of, the, the, of, of this project was coming very much from this sensation of, I don't know, I think I come from a generation that there was a, you know, there was a lot of risk taking and, and it's funny because this film, we began to think about it in 2008, you know, in 2008 when you think about the world, it was the year of the crisis and the year of fear and the year that, you know, what you're going to do. And I was really interested in talking about people that actually were very brave and, and were not afraid. I think that fear is something that really corrodes you. And so I was really interested in to talk about the opposite. You know, it's very complicated because the film is actually set part in Brazil and part in Germany. And, and there's really nothing in common between those two countries besides Volkswagen, I think. It's like just a car company. So it's not like there's a common history or a shared colonial history or anything. And, and honestly, when I start to think of the film, I mean, the film was not between Brazil and Germany. It was a Brazilian film. And then, but since it was a film about traveling and we imagined that the destination would be interesting, that the film, that the character actually traveled to somewhere really different than where he came from. And, and so there was all these things that we kind of um, understood between Berlin and the city where the film takes place in Brazil, which is called Fortaleza. So it was a real, you know, at one moment I thought, is, we cannot make a movie like this, you know, this is, they're so different, you know, but then that difference started to make sense and it started to be part of the story. But, you know, it's just like negotiating cultures that have very little, almost nothing in common. So there were moments that were very challenging. There were moments, you know, that were quite difficult. And I think it was also, it was the first time that these two countries collaborated as a co-production, like officially. So that was really complicated. But I think it was, I'm happy I did it. You know, I think that it, it perhaps it will open, you know, a path to other possibilities of collaboration between these two countries and starting a dialogue. I think it's, I mean, we always learn the more different the other is, you know, the more you learn. First of all, I like to explore different things and I like, you know, I like to try and make essay films and documentary films and fiction films. And I think there are certain subjects that are more interesting if they are portrayed as fiction and there are certain subjects that are more relevant if they're just portrayed as they are, you know, that we don't have to kind of construct them. So it really depends on the subject, you know. Um, I think there are certain, you know, in making films, it's also for me, it's always for me something that it has to be necessary. It's too much work, you know, to make a film. So it, it needs to be something that's relevant. Or at least you have the illusion that it's relevant for someone, you know. So I think that's the first step. And I think that when you think like that, there are certain subjects, you know, every time I begin to make a film, you know, I, there's always a seed, you know, of an idea. And it always, I always ask myself, should it be done as a fiction? Should it be done as a documentary? Should it be done as a hybrid film? You know, I've also done films that are like in between fiction and documentary. So I think it depends on what you want to talk about. You know, sometimes a film needs the, it, it needs to be grand and like cinematic, you know, and colorful. And I think there are certain stories that deserve that kind of treatment. And, and it's like, you know, it's like if you work with music, sometimes there are certain subjects that need to be an opera. It, they need to be composed as an opera. And there are certain subjects that need to be composed as chamber music. So it's like that, you know, I think it's very much dependent on what you want to tell as a story.